Parental discretion is advised. What's up, guys? This week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, it's the Christmas episode. It's all kinds of crazy. What do we think is going to happen in 2014? What do we think happened in 2013? And what do we want from Stone Cold Santa? Stick around. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I have written a very special song for you. You can't hang with me. I'll put you down for three. Seen a three see-through shirt on your girl with me. Fuck your grand ambitions and attack positions. Try and watch this rendition before I worsen your condition. Take a second, try to listen. I'm not into repetition. Take a second, try to listen. I'm not into repetition. On a real simple mission, it's an act of attrition. All facts, no omission. You will need a physician. Call a doctor, Doctor Who. That's just the doctor to you. Yeah, what I'm saying is true. I'll cure more I'll cure more than your flu. Smith, Tennant, Hurt, and McGann. That's right. I am Booby Ann. From the rings of Akatan, I got this great game plan. It's time to start the show. The greatest show you know. Merry Christmas. Yo ho ho. It's the wrestling mayhem show. Folks, welcome to the wrestling mayhem show. It's Christmas time. Papa Lunchbox is drinking, and you know what that means. We've got the full roster this evening. It's incredible how many people we have. Fortunately, we all have beautiful and distinct voices, uh, and we're going we're gonna to check those people out right now. Kicking off things on the top with the one and only Rizdefer. Say hello, Riz. I can eat candy. Riz is eating candy, which is a metaphor. Oh, metaphor. <laughs> Coming we're to you about to have a, from, we're about to have you throw up right on camera, sir. That's for the second half. That is the second half. <laughs> I'm saving that special. From the Bronx, from New York. That means we're real podcast. We have someone from New York, and his name is Matt Mike. <laughs> what up, bitches? I, I appreciate the uh, Doctor Who reference there, LB. Ah, thank you Happy kindly. Christmas, uh uh, oh, he wants to go last, so we're going to take that out. Um, we Proving once again that we are a real podcast, we have someone from New York, and we have a black person. Hot Wheels! <laughs> hey, what up, folks? I'm eating nuts. Hot Wheels is eating nuts. God damn it, we're a good podcast. Let's keep this rolling with a white child. Eamon from Texas. <laughs> Oh, oh, gosh. Say hello, you little piece of shit. I <laughs> hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. I love uh, urban culture. Amen's here. <laughs> Further. All right. That's good. Oh, to get off him. Further diversifying our podcast. Can you believe it? We've got something that only 5% of all podcasts have. That is a fact. I do my research uh, through Gallup poll. Uh, that's right, folks. We have a lady, and her name is Leg Kick TKO. Say hello. Do we know that lady is with us? <laughs> <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I'm a bit of a delay. A <laughs> bit of a delay. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. It works. All right, folks. Oh, and ju- and again, proving that we are a well-rounded podcast. Here is four white guys. We've got Bobby <laughs> and Jay Town. Hi, We've everybody. I'm friend, white guy number one. <laughs> our friend in the mainstream media, Matt Carlins. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know where he's at. He'll be back. Uh, Alex is with he's us. There. He's there. There he Hi, is. Guys. Ho ho ho. <sighs> this is the best night of course. my life. Oh my god, guys! How can we have a podcast without someone running it? 
But who runs can. this podcast? Hey I'm guys, sure we have I'm someone here. running it. It is Sorgatron. And I'm driving drunk. Uh, ah. Well, I'm starting to. And just for you, I got the Black Bear Buck, LB. Black Bear Buck. I'm wearing a shirt with a polar bear on it. <laughs> nice. Look at it. It's, it wants a, It says, come to Papa. That's not important. What's important is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You've stumbled your way onto the greatest wrestling podcast anywhere on the internet, period. Fuck your mouth if you want to argue. I'll drown you in a river. Uh, uh, we're here every Tuesday. Sorg, is there anything you want to plug, or should we go straight into the voice? The we're here every mail? Tuesday, but we're going to be taking a, a break, of course. This is the last show of the year. That's why LB's in charge, because we configure it. Sorg's we doing the business. Field all the emails in the weeks off. Um, so go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Find us in our back catalog here at iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, of course. Um, and you can also drop a line to that email address. Good Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Or drop a line to 412-206-WMS0 if you want to uh, uh, message us with your voice box. Um, and, of course, uh, and a few other Keep things. Keep it under 30 minutes. We're not your therapist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And we'll get this out of the way so we don't have to worry about it later. Eh, you know, we'll, we'll do some stuff. Um, no, no, you know, but, no, no, let's start the show, DJ Lunchbox. And how do we start that show? We start it with... Fan mails. Fan Sword. mail. Fan mail. Fan mail. Stop from my fan, fan mail. mail. Fan mail. Good work. Good improvisation. I'm going to read this first one because it's got questions, and I'll shout at everyone. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Slammies are by far the worst episodes of Raw for me, poor grammar. To my shock, I, no, that's right. I'm that is, that is <laughs> a pleasant go-home show for the TLC PP. V. There were two matches that I enjoyed greatly and found myself watching at least 75 to 90 mins of this Raw, not on Fast Forward. Thank you for capitalizing Fast Forward, as is correct. An obvious improvement from the 45 to 60 minute average. The Washington crowd gave me a fun moment in which we saw the fans chanting Brian's name while Triple H was talking. As they <laughs> slow panned across, I saw Bret Hart behind Tripp's stare. I'm trying. It's the <clears> second <throat> half. Staring at him as he spoke and with a smirk on his face. That's not a smirk. He had a stroke. I could <laughs> hope but think that Bret Hart's thought at that moment was, this is why Daniel Bryan is in my top 1,000 and you're not. Hunters, questions, questions, questions. Why in the world is Vicky Guerrero allowed to wear shorts like that on a PG product? Because... Lunchbox needs to have erections. If <laughs> WWE is going to allow it on television, they should be required by a Surgeon General to place a. Yeah, it's gross. We get it. All right, Riz, why? Yeah, that's I mean. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's wrong. Um, I she think it has delicious. lost weight and looks really damn good. That's a good solid answer, Mad Mike. What do you think, sir? I I think it. I, I know think it's, it's delicious. I think it's absolutely delicious, and she should be able to wear whatever she wants, especially when the total divas wear about 50 to 80% less. Bam! Two for sexy Vicky. Wheels, what do you think? I love me a cougar, and man, <laughs> I, I think she did just fine last night with that. I mean, I had a group of us who were like, she looks great now. Why not throw on it? Did Fantastic. anyone think Hot Wheels, wheels was going love to turn sloppy down pussy lips? Amen, what do you think? <laughs> Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. We need okay. you. Uh, you. You do you, girl. <laughs> what the fuck oh, do I know? Oh, oh my gosh. The strongest one here is Amen. Oh my god. Uh, leg kick, TKO. We need a lady's perspective. Uh, Vicky's looked a lot. She's looking a lot better now, obviously. Um, and maybe they need to stop being terrible to her. Mm-hmm. Just a thought. You know, how like, else will we award the, the um, few names? Rock. Rock. Yeah. Bobby. Bobber. Yeah. Bobberton. Yes, sir. I think. I think she looks great. Good old, old, I, I, good old I think Flex she looks Kavana. great, you know? Um, they, she's very pretty. Excellent. <laughs> Mainstream Matt. 
can't hear what he's saying. Where is he? <laughs> he's yelling something, and he's very emphatic. He's yelling. Does he, does he, does he, does he, this is important. Work. Does he look like he likes Vicky? Oh, I uh, he's, he's very <laughs> angry about people. Check your settings in uh, in your hangout there, sir. I, I think that means I think that means he likes Vicky. No, I can. Hey, thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up from that. Alex, Alex, are you there? there? What do you think? I think I I have no opinion. I'm sorry. That's Aww. all right. That's all right. You can abstain from one question in the night, Sorgelstein. Please tell us what you think of Vicky. <laughs> What do I think of Vicky? Let's turn my mic on. Um, I, <laughs> what was the question? Vicky Guerrero, hot, other shorts appropriate. Um, I think she's. Uh, I think she does the cougar thing well. I think she's looked good over the years. I think she, I give her a lot of respect for doing and playing her part. Um, good for her. Good for her. Um, we 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 have a guest. What? We have a guest. That, that needs to put a microphone a thousand in front of her face. We're all here, the other one. The other one. There's nobody else the to one. get. The other one, and then we got to fix her camera. Hold on. Who is it? What the fuck Who is happening with his sword? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, she doesn't get to answer this question. Yes, she no. does. Moving on. Is, is it fixed? Uh, <laughs> Mostly. Who is it? Let me add them to the list. Who is it? It's Dutters. It's Vicky Guerrero. Dutters! Oh, Dutters! Dutters! Oh, Two ladies on a podcast. That's 10%. Oh, fuck. We're the best podcast ever. <laughs> Dutters, <laughs> where are your fucking headphones? Dutters? Oh, my God. Christmas came early. Should be headphones over there. Dutters, <laughs> look, trial by fire. What do you think of Vicky Guerrero and her tiny shorts? An inspiration to <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, wrong mic. There. Ah. No, no, no. I, I turned you on now. Sorgelstein, <laughs> hey. hello. Uh, Antlers the most professional podcast. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I think she's an inspiration hey. to cougars everywhere. Fantastic. Go. The general consensus is who wrote this in? <laughs> Dustin. Dustin, you're wrong. You're incorrect. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Question number two. Solomon Crow debuted a new hacker, gi hacker gimmick similar to the anti-hero Aiden Pierce from Watchdog. Fuck you, Ubisoft. Quit pushing the release date. While I love the emergency broadcast system theme, can you think of any limitations that might result in a gimmick change before he is brought to the main roster, which I would expect in 2015? Yes, of course. Hacking uh, will be obsolete by 2015. Every and it will be called something else. Oh, did it mute? For Doesn't a matter. Riz, you got most of it. God damn it! What do you think of his gimmick? I like his gimmick. I I, I didn't. I, I I spoiled myself in watching those uh, promotional things that NXT had Promotion. taped. <clears throat> but I did. I did watch the uh, Instagram video that it was filmed on, and I I, I enjoyed it. I don't see any limitations. To this gimmick, um, and I think it helps that Sol that Solomon Crow is doing this after the Wyatt family does it because of the ominous. You can't even see the entrance type entrance that they have. I think because of that, that gives him another creepy ass edge to this. I like it, Mad Mike. I like you. Wait, what? Oh, you. <laughs> Mad Mike, I have to know Bro what New York think about this. Uh, well, I, I've always liked uh, whenever a hacking gimmick, like it's something you don't expect on the show. Like when Chris Jericho did it, we had to save us promos. When the Wyatts do it, it's nice to see. So I don't, I don't see why this one wouldn't work either. Excellent. Eamon, tell me what Texas thinks of hackers. Well, Texas thinks... Uh, <laughs> The it's Solomon Crow gimmick is minutes. cool. It's super creepy, which is cool. And I think Sammy Callahan <laughs> slash Solomon Crow can definitely pull it off, and it could be very interesting. Fantastic. Uh, Hot Wheels, what do black people think of hackers? <laughs> <laughs> we do like you them. call them like black? I love Solomon Crow. One, I love the name. It's just awesome. It's a blackbird. Come on. That's great. Blackbird. Crow, get it? Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
I, I agree. I think it's a great gimmick. Uh, like Kick TKO, what do you think of Hacker Solomon Crow? Rhymes. What? That's what? Like, whoa, so much butt. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? What is going oh on? Oh, no. The, 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 Ooh, Jess? it's a butt. Jess, can you weigh in? <laughs> Uh, well, in Alabama, we don't really have computers to hack, but um, I've been trying to hack the Mayhem show, um, but it's not working, so I I don't understand hacking, really. Roll, til- roll tilde. Roll tilde. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, you can't just I don't, I don't have any input. The string into a phone. Bobby, what, what does flooded areas think of hackers? Well, we don't really have computers either because um, they're waterlogged, but um, <laughs> no, um, I, I think it's going to be a cool gimmick. I, I can't wait till he hits the main roster eventually. It's gonna be, not going to be for a while, but it should be neat if he sticks with the gimmick. Excellent. Matt Carlins, what does Carlins think of the hacker gimmick? Uh, everybody knows that gimmicks in NXT suck when they get to the main roster anyway, so that's just the way. Whoa! 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 Wow. We finally, we finally get him talking on the show, and he has to go and do that. <laughs> uh, Carlin's is full of sass tonight. Tell us, Matt Carlin, why? Why do they suck? Um, because I can't get them on basic cable. That's why they suck. Because they're not mainstream. They're happy. Wow. There you go. There's a solid answer. Alex, Alex Cards, designer of t-shirts. Please, God, tell us what you think of Hacker. <laughs> well, uh, a couple things. Uh, first of all, I'm kind of glad that they went with the Hacker, Solomon Crow, as opposed to the other Solomon Crow that they were hinting at with uh, the presentation videos. Um, I'll take a that. Hacker. I'll take a Hacker over a Slackjaw Yokel any day. Um, Man, thank you. Because that was the other one they were hinting Racist. at. Um, I think I think it's gonna be really, I think it's gonna be a really unique thing just to, to watch. And Sammy uh, Sammy Callahan just, I think he's the guy to pull it off. Fantastic, Dutters, Dutters, Dutters. I must know. What do you think of Salomon Crow's gimmick? Salomon Crow. Salomon Crow. <laughs> He's a hacker <laughs> gimmick. That's a Salomon Crow. I think it gives. Salmon Crow. I think it gives a lot of my IT friends something to um, strive to be. <laughs> That's gonna be uh, in a few years. When Chachi's Chachi gonna like get, just freak out on RWA one night. <laughs> He's gonna come. He's gonna come into the ring and just like take people out. My little friend. Sorg. Shh. Sorg, are you yeah. there, buddy? I'm here. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Now listen. <laughs> listen, we've gone all the way through the list, and I know you have to either have been fucking with cameras or percolating a good opinion about this. I was too busy percolating, or, yeah, uh, fucking with it's cameras. Time for the oh, cameras. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolating cameras. <clears throat> yes. Um, Solomon Crow. <laughs> Solomon Crow. No, I Bobby, like the no. idea. It's something that I don't think has been done uh, to any effect before. Um, I think, and I. That did, I, I, I wonder, okay, he has to be into the top if he's doing this. Uh, I wonder if this is actually him. Um, it, but I like it. It's different. It, it feels like it's going the techie way, uh, creepy techie way, the way we're going creepy backwards way with the with the Wyatts. Um, and I wonder what they're going to be able to do to it when, you know, let's simmer down in uh, NXT for a while, see where they go with it. He's already, uh, the thing I saw was uh, he attacked Callisto. Uh, who used to be How Samurai Del Sol. So pretty cool that two uh, IWC alumni are, are involved in it. Uh, it was really interesting because I watched it, and basically a Sir, uh, Del Sol Kalisto is doing his, he's got a bow staff that he swings around, shows off in the ring, and then he's done, and then the lights go out. There's the, the, the you know, the, the music, the, the warning system music we, we talked about before, and then he's just like over top of them, and then he pulls out, and I'm pretty sure it's like the same kind of tablet like this, and just presses it and the lights go out. For a quick little live show presentation, that's fun. Now, if they can pair that up with a lot of cool segue graphic stuff, I see he's going to, I think he's going to be introduced in a similar way of Wyatt's, where they have kind of that promo into an entrance thing, because it's going to need that extra step to be presented on TV, especially since we are dealing with technology. 
Um, it's too bad the yeah, anonymous and, raw GM yeah. doesn't exist anymore. Exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, and Wade Barrett, bad yeah. news, has, has uh, taken his podium. So. <laughs> yeah, if I, can, uh, in, if I can interject a little bit, this would be the second time that Sammy Callahan has taken the lights out in an arena, the first being when he basically got to close out the Evolve 10 show at the arena. So. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Neat. Okay, now there's a third question, and this one's going to be a challenge. Are you ready for this? Because we got two more emails. We're going to move through this one quickly. I'm going to ask the question, and then I'm going to throw to each one individually. You have to answer in one sentence. Oh, shit. You ready? One sentence, everyone. Yeah, it's happening. No. <laughs> the Is wonderful world, number three, the you wonderful world of the dirt sheets or the is now reporting that Styles will be done with TNA as of December 16th. Do you think this is just TNA working the sheets to keep k alive with this storyline with Devon, or do you think the TNA is really breaking ties with AJ? If they do, what are the potential benefits and setback of TNA 2014 after AJ? This is a hard one to answer in one sentence, but <laughs> fucking goddamn do it, Riz. <laughs> AJ comes back but not as champion. Very nice. Mad Mike. After reading the spoilers, I'd have to disagree. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Eamon? No, it's the year of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hot Wheels? He will be back punk style. Leg kick TKO. <laughs> They're on dial up in Alabama. No, is she with us? <laughs> is she, is she still with us? I think I think she's on a super delay. Oh. She's on a super delay because Alabama. Because Alabama. Oh. <laughs> she's sending hers via smoke screen. Smoke signal. Was I asked a question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> AJ Styles, TNA, one sentence, go. Yeah, she's on the way. Uh, Norfernum Grand Slam champion for eternity. <laughs> That's the next one. Yes, points. <laughs> Matt Carlin's. Uh, I don't think I can top that, but if it happens on TV, it's part of the story. That's all I'll throw in for that. <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Cars. Uh, the average age of NXT will get. Just a little bit older. <laughs> Dutterton. <laughs> oh, Teddy Bear, no. Oh, did you see him? Was that it? Was it the answer? Okay. Sort of Tron. Just pointing out, uh, she has an Austin 316. It's my uh, whoop ass bear. Teddy bear. Whoop ass bear. Teddy bear. Whoop ass bear. Nice. I brought my other special guest. Um, I think uh, I, I think uh, he goes away, and uh, TNA won't miss him because not like they were really doing anything with him, uh, even though he is the champion, oddly. Uh, but he won't be missed in the kerfuffle, and uh, and WWE will prove wrong by actually doing something with him on the mid cards. That's more than four, that's, that's like four things. That was that's one, that was one sentence. sentence. That was a well done, done Sorgatron. Holy fuck. My answer to the question is, of course, what is TNA? One week to go before Aiden in his pervert. Bobby, I fucking. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm sorry. I lost you in the TKO madness. You lost Bobby, me the kerfuffle. Me. Bobby, one sentence kerfuffle. He's, he's going to stick around to smoothly segue into cops. <laughs> That's fantastic. One week to go before Eamon trades in his proverbial high horse in favor of white elephant while arriving in all of his hairy manly gloriness for your landmark okay. show approaches. Thank you, Zorg, with a Z, for keeping Zorg. control of the chaos to present uh, present us all with this wonderful nation of mayhem. Regards, Wait. Dustin. Uh, Is Zorg? Uh, Toy Story villain. All hell, Zorg. Does that mean Mila Jovovich is on this podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, right? I'm fucking Mila Jovovich without the makeup. My Jupiter just <laughs> ascended. 
<laughs> and if you didn't get that joke, watch the damn trailer. Points, points, points. Bobby. All right, listen, we got another email. Somebody fucking read it. <laughs> Amen. It's in Mexico. Amen. Amen it's Mexican. Mexican. There was like twenty people and no one volunteered. That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, we volunteered you. You we volunteered. I can't read. I was good. I'd do it, but I can't speak Spanish. I can't read. Okay. Hola, oh, who's hola, amigos. Es mi, es mi, es el gran azul. Feliz Navidad de Mexicali. Puede usted disfrutar de su comida, bebidas o del ocio favorito. <laughs> Espero poder can't ver a Alberto del Rio se educa sobre Santa con su coche una y otra y otra y otra vez. I'm I'm pretty well right. fucking happy with that. Are we watching Telemundo right now? I can't Bobby tell the difference. Here. That was electric. I can't Amen. find my SAP button. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Do me a favor. Repeat this. Sabado gigantic. <laughs> Sabuto gigantico. Gigante. Sabado, what was it called? Sabado, gigante. There's the second half. Amen. <laughs> Finish it. Google Translate. <laughs> oh, okay. Is, sure. is someone going to... Go ahead, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Is so someone going to powerbomb someone through Eamon's desk now? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. Eamon, powerbomb. That was worth <laughs> waiting. <laughs> Do I read this? Eamon, finish the happen? damn email. Yeah. More. Yeah. More. Yeah. Yeah. Read it. Finish. Merry, 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 Merry Christmas from Mexicali. May you enjoy your favorite food, beverages, and festivities. I look forward to watching a Rodeo Rio run over Santa with his car over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Olay! 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 not allowed to drive anymore. Listen, Olay. it's kind of funny how, one, how the, we've got an email left. Version. Who's it going to be? Only is it going to be Jess? Read her own email, or is it going to be Sorgatron? It's funny how the Spanish version had over three times, but the Google Translate had over four times. That's oh. good. Google, Google doesn't translate accurately, <laughs> Mad Mike. Oh. I'm aware of that. I mean, we've Everyone seen, we've seen the voicemails, right? I'll read this from Jessica, <laughs> who is also here, but in the future. Um, Dear Wrestling Mayhem Show, I've got to admit the Slammys weren't as awful as I anticipating. I was anticipating. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> Olé! 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 However, I still don't really care about the winners since... 90% of the nominees are terrible. I do think we should have someone win a Slammy and lord it over everyone else like Owen Hart did in the past. Maybe Dolph Ziggler or Fandango? Fandango. Sorg. Uh, Sorg. Yes? We have that person. Who's that? That person is me. I'm a Slammy Award winner! Mm. Oh my. Ole! Ole! Wow. <laughs> Uh, well, I lost my place. <laughs> on? On a more old school that. note, <laughs> I've been watching global classic wrestling when it plays for like seven hour blocks most days on ESPN Classic. If you can, it's a must watch because the mullets, Neot Spandex, and Booker T and Stevie Ray being <laughs> called the Ebony Experience is fantastic. <laughs> Side note, I have an early Booker T DVD like, like before he was stars. Where they're the Ebony Experience is pretty fantastic and colorful. <laughs> None that way. Um, it's kind of like wrestling equivalent of cops. <laughs> well, that's about all I have from all from me for now. Take care and remember to never feed your Funkasaurus after midnight. Your pal, Leg Kick TKO. Oh no, he's becoming a gremlin. Pow! It's a big gremlin. Leg Kick. We also yeah, have a voice now, Mal, from Matt Carlin. Should we play this since you're here? Is yes. It, yes. Do oh, it. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Yes. Yes. Do it. Yes. 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 That's just the rest of the podcast. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to play this, and then you're going to move your mouth. Yes. Do it. Put it on and make him gesture. Matt Carlin's gesture. Matt Carlin for Pal in the Mainstream Media, calling at the last minute. Kind of my thing. And I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The good news 
that, well, all you fellas are gathered together for your annual Mayhem Christmas Spectacular, a time for merriment, <laughs> holiday <laughs> celebrations. <laughs> Bad news, that if previous years or any indication, the majority of you will vomit in the very, the very... <laughs> Very Are you bad news, Carlins. <laughs> very near future. Hashtag bad news, Carlins. <laughs> yes or no? Guilty. Will there be a unified champion after TLC? I think you guys might know which way I'm leaning. I'm not straying from my initial prediction, but uh, I just want to get your guys' answer: yes or no. Commit. And uh, happy holidays. See you. <laughs> bad, bad news, Carlin. Bad news, Carlin. Hashtag bad news, Carlin. <laughs> Make that shit work, folks. That's it for fan interaction. But no, he well, had a question. Uh, no, we have a question. question. No, we have a question. Jesus here. Christ, we have, have a question. question. <laughs> it's the only Are you drunk? Fuck so <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Are we yes, hard? Look at look at someone <laughs> <laughs> going. Oh my God! What was your question, Matt? What was your fucking question? <laughs> Donde well, está el baño? Uh, <laughs> will hey. there be hey. a single unified champion after TLC? Yes or no? Yes. No. no. Yes. No. See, yes. Maybe. No. I'm going yes. Are you going to the Rumble? Hold Are on. you going Hold yes? On. yes. Hold on. See. Yeah. Yes, there will be a single unified champion. His name is Hunter Hershelmsley. <laughs> oh, 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 there it is. The king of this Jericho is trolling Knock everyone. He's going to climb the ladder. <laughs> I think there will be, but it won't be at TLC. Ooh. It's going to. Uh, that was the question, Bobby. <laughs> that was the question. If it's Bobby, gonna... are you drunk? I think there <laughs> will be, but it won't be at TLC, though. And no. TLC will after be at TLC, TLC, there will be. So It'll be after no. TLC. So <laughs> technically, I'm right. Lies, what? The answer is no. Bobby, no. Bobby, Bobby no. no. Bobby, hold on, no. hold on. Mad Mike's got a thing. Mad Mike, tell us. He's got a thing. I no. I'm lost. No, there will not Nobody be. Tell us what's going to happen. Mike, title. you used to work for WWE. <laughs> tell us. <laughs> they are switching titles. They're swapping, right, Mike? Yes. They're gonna meet. The yes. swap meet. They're gonna yes, meet. That's the swap exactly meet. what's happening. And you all want it. They are to switch titles. So good. Okay. So Randy oh, Orton will become Everett. All right. I, just, I, I think it'll be a four-way, either tournament or match. That's what I was thinking. Between. So you're the only one who hasn't weighed in here. Because I'm too busy maintaining. He's busy eating a banana. <laughs> you gotta I'm keep him separated. Who's your banana, I've said this in the hangout, and I got yelled at for doing so. Um, I, I I want them to keep it vacant until Royal Rumble. Yep. And then the Royal Rumble match becomes the World Heavyweight Champion. 1992 Rick Flair style, right? They're yelling at you for that. No, nope. they're, they're not doing that either. They're they're that's exactly that. why. What do you I'm think? I'm on of... board. I'm on board. Pound it. I know. Pound it. Right there. I want to see that shit. I'm on board, too. Right there. I think I will trump so your, you your, your, your uh, championship there, Riz, with how about taking out both men when they're both on the ladder by the third man Chris Jericho, and he climbs it and grabs both titles. <laughs> Jericho's busy doing podcasts, goddammit. <laughs> that would shock everyone. everyone. He's Chris Jericho. Damn it. He's, but he's Chris but Jericho. He's Chris Jer he beat the Rock, right. Stone Cold, John Cena, and Randy Orton all on the same day. That was all a big day. Yes. <laughs> that was a big day. All right, gang. <laughs> Here's the deal. That's all for the fan interaction, and it was great. I don't know about you guys, but I have an erection to take care of, so we got to take a break. <laughs> Sorg, we got to take a break, right? We're going to take Jupiter. a break. Um, Jupiter has a second. Yeah. I'm no. just, yes. Listen, I'm trying to hang on to the um, 
the format. Zig break and then indie minute, right? Yeah, that's exactly what we do. Um, that's now, not the format Eamon, at all. Eamon. Where's Eamon? <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> yes, Eamon is yes, so you flooded <laughs> little fuck. I'm drunk. <laughs> Go outside and put your head under the water, and I will tell you when to stop. It's frozen. <laughs> it's frozen. I can't. The first Cut a hole and just morning. drop it in. The water is frozen and turned to snow and ice. Bobby, I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Okay, no, we're gonna we're we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break, and then we'll be back with more wrestling mayhem show after these messages. Sorg. Hi, this message is, hey, we're doing, uh, this is not the last show. While it's the last show that you will be seeing live here on the internet, uh, this is not the last show you have a chance to see live. Next week is our 400th holy crap Woo! episode Woo! of the Wrestling Man Show. What Lay! the fuck are we doing Lay! with our lives? <laughs> and we're Lay! doing something special. Uh, drinking Lay! is probably not going to happen to this effect, but I think they are BYOB if you want to be in the crowd doing it. Um, <laughs> But we're going to have a fan appreciation night. We've rented a theater. (gasps) What? We've rented a theater theater. right up the road. We bought a zoo. (laughs) Did we buy a theater, sort of? Not buy a theater. (laughs) Is it driving? Do we get that? No. Live sex celebration, Bobby and a giraffe. God, I'm not no. going to sleep tonight now. No. Oh, no. <laughs> what we will be doing is um, probably as attributable to Bobby having sex with a giraffe, though. Because we'll be watching that fine Hulk Hogan classic, No Holds Barred, on the big screen. And you it just is... as violent and just as awkward as Bobby <laughs> fucking watched that. that. <laughs> That's that right. We're going to see it on the big screen. We both scream Zeus during it. And, of course, our good friends, <laughs> DJ Lunchbox yes. and Bobby F. The Bobby F. The giraffe fucker town. Uh, that's what I, that's what my F stands for. <laughs> we bought a Zeus. We bought a Zeus. Oh my god. We bought a Zeus. <laughs> Tiny Lister is in the studio. But it will be next Tuesday, December seventeenth, at the Holloway Theater in Dormat. As long as they haven't heard this promo in for Dormat? it, um, free of charge. But please go uh, patronize the uh, concession stand. Give donations. They are a nonprofit. A really great uh, treasure to the community here in Dormont in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Uh, so please come on down. It's free of charge. Like I said, it's a fan appreciation night. Thank you, you guys, for uh, uh, helping us with the nearly eight years, the support for nearly eight years of this show. And, and, and I mean, look at the people here. Look look at the... the when the show started, Eamon was a zygote. Exactly. <laughs> Eamon was a zygote. I want to try to fix their audio over here. Uh, but we yes. helped him through puberties. Some fantastic <laughs> stuff. And with that, uh, Eamon... Is there any indie wrestling that we care about this weekend? No. Uh, there's there's <laughs> one that I know Sword may care about since he's looking for it. I hope so. Yeah, there's, a, there's that IWT show that's happening. Sword was on that show because I, <laughs> I totally became prepared for an indie minute. Um, <laughs> winner no, takes all. No, we about the indie wrestling. Year. I've been to them before. They're awesome. Is everyone promoted at once? Um, yeah, go to iwcwrestling.com and get some more information. Yes. Uh, Cole Cabana is going to be there. Great Matt stuff. And John Cole, I'll out. take over, oh, Eamon. Oh, oh. Cole oh. Cabana is going to be there. Matt Stryker is going to be both announcing alongside friend of the show, Joe Dombrowski, and wrestling other friend of the show, Andrew Palace. It's a friend of the show threesome. Um, also, Woo! other friends of the show, Johnny Gargano, Facade team uh, in a three-way against Cole Cabana uh, for a chance at Super Another title, I believe. <laughs> um, Shima Zion, DJ Zima, whatever you might know him as, um, is the x <laughs> champion. He's going to take on RJ City, Logan Shulo, in his farewell match before he goes to the big NXT no. where he comes Devin Devinson uh, against Shane Taylor, <laughs> uh, Dawn Castle in the title match against John McChesney, and so much more. I got nobody's name right there. Uh, it's this Saturday here yeah, in Devin uh, Devinson. just south of Pittsburgh in Elizabeth, PA. Uh, tickets information at iwcwrestling.com. It's going to be a blast. As it usually is, some great promos actually came up on their Facebook uh, group from uh, the STDs, these the 
sexy, <laughs> talented dudes uh, uh, about their matches that are also being added to the card, including, I believe it was a three-way t- uh, match for the title, uh, including so many friends of the show, I can't name them all. Uh, drink. Gotta hope someone didn't just show up just <laughs> for that section. Bow! Because they would have no idea what kind of show you're actually running here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy this fuck, IWC ah! message. What? Huh? <laughs> IWC retweeted us. Hey, Lunchbox. <laughs> this is Whoa. the time. What do you want? Welcome, IWC fans. Drunk? This is not a true representation What's up, of what this show is Are about. Are you drunk right now? They send a t- <laughs> mentioned us on Twitter. Oh, no. What did they say? Don't, don't push me, little white man. <laughs> Wait, who are you talking to? There's like it doesn't matter. What's in the, what's the indie minute? What's happening? <laughs> indie stuff. I don't know. So like drunk Bill Cosby. <laughs> I am Bill Rasslers Cosby. Be rap. My icon isn't Bill Cosby for no reason. In the minute. God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna go have like fifty. Yeah, don't put in pops. <laughs> Fuck you with the <laughs> penis <laughs> with the jello. Rudy goes in room. I'm drunk and I can't handle you tonight. Rudy locator. <laughs> this isn't indie minute. What's I know, it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> what show is up? Hey, we can we can talk about wrestling as cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. The the final ball what's ball. happening with wrestling is cool. There's a uh, my favorite well, wrestling- snowman showed up. Possibly or not possibly. Cool. That I, I miss curses. I miss curses greatly, and I want curses to be a thing again. I remember when I was at a Chikara show with all the Mayhem guys, and curses came out, and Lunchbox kept yelling Santa because <laughs> <laughs> he looked like Santa. You're right. He does kind of, <laughs> and he does Santa top rope dust bodies. Even though he's Dustin, great. was it Herschel oh, from Walking Dead? <laughs> Holy hey, shit! Hey, Dustin. Dustin, but he's Dustin, oh, Dustin. DNA guy. The one and only is, TNA okay, guy that has ever existed. Right cool. Dustin, what's happening? We read your email, Just, Dustin. I am not at work for once in my life. We're doing the Indie Minute. What do you know about Indies? I know there's a rumor floating around that there is a new want-to-be NWA that's called United Pro Wrestling something or other. Great name. And- United Wrestling <laughs> Network. Yeah, they're supposed to be taking River City Wrestling in San Antonio and making it a part of it, which is very interesting. Yep. Mm. Cool. That's run That's by awesome. uh, uh, Dave Marquez, who, who, who does the uh, championship wrestling from Hollywood, which is yes. the NWA Hollywood. So Free plugs, they're not paying <laughs> us to say this, <laughs> <laughs> but they should. I, you know, I think we should mention something coming up that just got announced. I think Alex has brought, brought this up on the board, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, and, and I found it because wrestling is cool, just redirected to this, apparently. Um, but, you know, they're going to come back with National Pro Wrestling Day? National Pro Wrestling Day! National Pro Wrestling Day! And now we know how de- de- I wasn't delayed everybody is. prepared for that. <laughs> Um, Did you poop yourself? But yeah, it's going to happen here on uh, February 1st, 2014 in Easton, PA. So, And they have a pretty spiffy countdown going on there. Uh, they already have announced uh, Cole Cabana, Maria, Estonian Thunder Frog, uh, Drew Gulak, Green Ant, Mike Bennett, and many more. Check back for updates. So already the big, big names attached for it. Free train. <laughs> Free train. I'm sure free. I, I, they should have five dollar wrestling included. And train, I, I do bang. wonder: Are they going to invite back? Is uh, IWC wrestling going to be involved as well, uh, like it was before? National um, Wrestling Day. So that, no, no, we're, we, day. your delay is really bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we get to do that for the next two months. Oh, the two months, or talk about National Pro Wrestling Day. National, National Pro, Pro Wrestling Day. Day. Thank you very that much. Like and if I'm not mistaken, Pro and Pro please Pro God, Pro let it be Jesus. that Shut your mouth, Eamon. That was your awesome. it sounds like the sound the Cloverfield monster makes. <laughs> <laughs> Amen gets line of the night. Amen gets line of the night. I almost passed Point. out laughing from the <laughs> I I so with that, let's talk about the app. Yeah. I will. So, so tell us about the app. Uh, the app? You're not getting sorry. This app? 
You uh, cocksucker. Yes. Tell us about the app. That <laughs> app. That app. Uh, back yeah, that yeah, out of yeah, app up because we got some great yeah, stuff on there, like audio yeah. from this episode. We got bonus content. Um, and plus, oh my god, my beer. Oh, oh no. Oh no. How oh, no. dare you. Um, suck uh, did it, we suck lose it. the soundboard? Did we lose the soundboard? We didn't lose the soundboard. No, 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 no. It's just a Thank crappy Christ. keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Like links to all the stuff, like our email address and our phone number and all that stuff. You can check it out on the app, iOS app store for your iPod and no, yes, Help iPhone store. and the iPad. One dollar ninety nine at a time, split three ways. Your droid pad. You your droid pad on your iDroid. On your iPod shuffle. On your iDroid shuffle. On your my Zach Morris block phone. <laughs> on your on your on your Galaxy Mini, Get on your time. on your Tamaguchi, on your Tamaguchi. My Air. sonic screwdriver. Way down under on the Tamaguchi. <laughs> DJ Lunchbox, Sorgelstein. Are you I'm ready sorry. to remember Bobby. when? Oh. Remember when? Oh, mm, yeah, that's right. This is when we slightly look to the left. The longest mm-hmm. remember when ever. Mm-hmm. 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 Everybody gonna remember when Daniel Sorgen threw a remember when Matt Carlin looked at the camera when I'm sorry, all right. And we're gonna remember when I'm dizzy now. There's wow. no control. We're just showing the same three people over and over. I'm we're gonna remember when. Show everybody, Sorg. I'm not stopping until you show everyone. And show everyone, Sorg, please. When. And there's a gonna remember again. There's Sorg looking regal. There's Dutters looking regal. There's Sorg looking regal. <laughs> there's uh, Dustin looking confused. <laughs> Very. <laughs> this is good shit. Are we done? Is that everybody? Yes. Good. Oh my god. I talked about this a little bit before the show, but fuck. I, I went to bed before Raw, and today, before the show, I watched the end of it. Oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> right? Yeah. Kudos. Right. Yeah. Fucking yeah. A number one correct, son. It was great. And I want to talk about strong endings to Raw. Memorable strong endings to Raw. I know it's vague. I hope you all prepared something. Uh, because I'm going to go first. Something. I'm going to give you a little bit of time. Strong endings to Raw. Memorable ways that Raw ended. But mine uh, is going to be last night because holy fuck, that was great. <laughs> that just a few short minutes was more build to TLC. I am now excited for a pay-per-view that I was going to watch in passing. Randy Orton cut the best promo I've ever actually heard him cut. John Cena... 2013 is the year that John Cena should have shut up all his detractors. He fucking wrestled. He cut fucking cut promos. It was incredible top to bottom. Good for him. And that little bit of interaction there at the end with Daniel Bryan, with CM Punk, with Triple H, with John Cena and Randy Orton. I am fucking sold. I am glued to my TV for the next at least two months watching to see where that goes. That's all it takes. Good storyline and good story progression. Rizdefer, I want to know what you remember when. Oh, I remember. The Nexus debut. That's good. Where they just destroyed everything. And Daniel Bryan kicked the head off of uh, John Cena. And then... um, Decided to choke out everybody's favorite announcer, Justin Roberts. He got fired. Just doing his job. Just doing his job. That way, then that's the wrong guy. You're thinking about somebody else. I don't. But anyways, that's um, Matthews. that moment ended Raw at the perfect time. I was in so you can't you can't really do much with a. Busted up ring and shit like that. You have I to end it there, and that was ring. awesome. I'm, I'm, it, it's sad they didn't do more with it. I think they were kind of tied up 
with all the legal stuff and losing, you know, everybody that was involved in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was still good, though. Very One good. One of the most things I Fantastic. Uh, Mad Mike, tell me, what do you remember when? My remember one goes back a little while ago. Um, when Mick Foley won his first WWF title. And he took a victory lap around the ring. DX held him on his shoulders. Mrs. Foley's baby boy did it. It was, it was great. Yeah, that'll put a lot of butts in seats. Yeah. Yes, it, it put a lot of butts in seats. Fantastic. Uh, Eamon, tell me, what do you remember when? I remember um, Cool Ending with Raw is some uh, uh, stuff that's happened most recently when like a really cool match ends up. It, you know, usually it's something involving like Daniel Bryan and the Shield and and like a big multi man sort of thing. I think the the one that sticks out the most because there was a left this year was probably when um, they had that segment when Cody and Goldust won the tag titles and then Big Show came in and did that cool punch on Roman Reigns and it was it was like impactful and it was a cool like little cool little ending cool little capper to a to a wrestling program. So that's my my pick. Fantastic. Hot Wheels, I must know. What do you remember when? I'm not sure if it's at the end of Raw or when, but I loved it when the money dropped on Vince McMahon to end the show. (laughs) (laughs) That's fantastic. I remember that. Wasn't that part of the um, uh, uh, The, dickhead feud? the The Trump feud. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Nailed it. Um, leg kick. TKO. Right, she's like, she's not here any longer. She what, not here problems. anymore. <clears throat> oh, my God. No, I have to take her off the list. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby yeah. at town Save us. Save us, Bobby. My memory is uh, another Vince McMahon memory. When he blew up in a limousine. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Nobody knew what the hell was going on, and then next week it disappeared. He was fine. Because was of like a, a, different reasons. We, he was because dead of the man who shall not be named. He's yeah. still better than a soap opera. He was dead for two weeks. Yep. <laughs> I mean, Paul London was smiling, so I'm sure everything's yeah. all right. <laughs> well, Paul, Paul London was high. <laughs> <laughs> Likely. Nailed it. <laughs> Likely. Uh, Matt Carlins. Tell me. Uh, L- friend, LB, I feel like uh, we're all remiss if uh, someone doesn't at least throw out the uh, CM Punk pipe bomb promo. That was probably... Yeah. Uh, I mean, has there ever been an ending to Raw that's kind of like just kind of impacted like that across the entire internet and the Twitters and everything like that? I mean, that thing exploded, mm-hmm. right? I mean, wrestling was yes, never hotter covered. than for those like seven days. After uh, CM Cole Cabana sold so many T-shirts that night, he made Cole Cabana a lot of money that night too. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, Alex Cars, are you there? All I see is your logo. Yep. Yep. Um, what do you remember when? I, I'm with Riz on the uh, the Nexus ending for Raw. Everyone t- getting beat up in the ring, torn, being torn down. It was crazy. Um, yeah, that shit was solid. Uh, fucking, I gotta add Dustin to the list here. Dustin, <laughs> uh, post WrestleMania 28, after a very, very, very shitty pay per view that pissed me the hell off because mm-hmm. of an 8 second burial, <laughs> I watched a crowd unite in stand of one man. They still to this day chant and cheer and love and praise. But the end of that night had everybody cheering and hoping that Brock Lesnar would come out. And I, for one, didn't read the dirt sheets that night. So while I was watching and hearing this chant, I said, why the fuck are they chanting for Brock Lesnar? Lo and behold, Brock Lesnar, I freaked the hell out. (laughs) I was so happy. (laughs) It was just something I wasn't expecting. So whenever it happened, it made me very, very very happy with the ending of that Raw because John Cena got F5 to the face and I marked out like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, did Alex say? Yes. All right, good. I put Dustin in the wrong order. Sorry, <laughs> Brosif. Dutters, Dutters, <laughs> tell me, what do you remember when? 
Well, I'm going to go with recent memory just because it's a Christmas show, but didn't Del Rio get his butt kicked by Santa last year at the end of Raw? Yes, he did. <laughs> he did. He did. It's a Christmas episode, yeah. And we were there to witness that one. Yes. That's a good, a long, solid long shit. Mm-hmm. Very long night. <laughs> Sorgatron, for fuck's sake. This um, is important. What do you remember? I remember when ECW came to WWE the last time. Ah, that was also in Pittsburgh. <laughs> what was it? No. Okay. No, not the last time. Wait. Okay. When the real ECW came the last time. Oh. I'm talking back at like uh, towards the beginning of the Alliance. Before there was an Alliance, actually, because there's no ECW in there yet. Uh, but when we had a run in by random guys that were like, wait a minute, these guys are ECW, old ECW guys. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember that. Wait a minute. Most of the guys in the spring are ECW guys, except for Kane and whoever was with Kane. Oh, they all just turned around. I remember <laughs> specifically. I watched that at my grandma's house. Uh, <laughs> and I remember explicitly because I was marking out and not trying to mark out because I was in her kitchen <laughs> and they don't really understand wrestling. Um, so, just like. <laughs> and Sorg, do you remember Heyman on the commentary during that moment? And he's screaming at JR before it, right before it happens, he screams at JR. He's like, Feel this moment, JR! Feel this moment! And yeah, then it, and then yeah, because he'd been on commentary. Like, oh, my God. Well, he'd, been, he'd been on commentary since probably near the beginning of the year. He did WrestleMania, holy shit. Uh, and yeah, at that point, it all came together, and he got like I remember him getting up from commentary, right? Yeah, and, yeah, and say and, and cut a freaking badass promo too. It was awesome. He was completely like rubbing it in Jr.'s face. I wish they would do much like we've had a DX and NWO. I would like. I know it didn't turn out good in general, but there are so many good moments from the Alliance angle. I would just like somebody to like you know fall out the Alliance or something like that. The to detail like that storyline with as much of revisionist history as we have with WWE. We were talking about the title last night and how they've just absorbed the old NWA lineage with Harley race and all that. Um, mm. I could see a really good revisionist history uh, uh, DVD on something like that, like for like an anniversary of it, I guess we're probably past that anniversary, but it's, I think it'd be interesting. Sorg, do you yeah, remember the first WCW match that took place on Raw? Uh, wasn't it Booker T and um, Bagwell. Bagwell? Thank you, thank you. I got yes. picturing him with the hat and everything. And yep. Then, and then they they and, and I remember what's not Scott Hudson was it Scott? Yeah, Scott Hudson. It was Scott Hudson. Yeah. And maybe Mike Tanay were on commentary. Art Arn Anderson. So. Was it Arn Anderson on commentary? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was. Wow. Told us today. And you can tell they really did want to make a go at it. There's a new logo and everything. Like they, they were really serious about like we're gonna make it its own show. I guess what did the the segment bomb so bad they just didn't bother again? It was um, Buff Bagwell versus Booker T. Yeah. Well, <laughs> other than it was Buff Bagwell versus Booker T, and this is how we're gonna represent WCW. That was the problem. If they would have actually absorbed hey, Buff Bagwell the- is WCW. <laughs> this is true. Neck brace and all. Stuff, and you will respect and him. Visions of he was the, the stuff. stuff. Um, <laughs> but, Amy, yeah. I think you're disqualified from being able to comment on WCW. You've been watching wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got all that. Um, but, yeah, that's mine. Mm-hmm. LB? That's it, bro. That's all there is. That's everybody... I'm- uh, and we've gone down the memory lane of remember when? I'm surprised no one mentioned Austin with the beer bath. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. I it was that, that the end? That's I don't know if that was the end. Oh, yeah, that was at the end of the show. That was a that's great it. one. That was the go home to uh, WrestleMania, too. That was yes, freaking it was. unbelievable. Freaking Hot unbelievable. Man. Of course it was the end. You think anyone's going to wrestle in that? Hell no. Anarchy's calling <laughs> me out for <laughs> Anarchy is calling me out for being drunk for calling for a anarchy DVD or no uh, an alliance DVD. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Anarchy's drunk. Why is he in the hangout? You're drunk. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Don't you remember Kurt <laughs> Angle and Steve Austin and Kurt Angle with the stupid little hat and he's on a little guitar and he's on the big guitar and they're singing and it was a great time. Don't you remember Toronto <laughs> wrestling the brothers of the Star <laughs> drinks? Here's some good comments. Remember, Don't you remember Stone Cold Steve Austin fighting Booker T in the grocery store? I remember Kurt Angle showering everyone in milk. 
That was SmackDown, I think, wasn't it? It was probably SmackDown, yeah. Well, was it? <laughs> oh, Val, God. Venus, and Kai and Tai. Choppy, choppy, peaky. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What always the doing end of on it? it? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's the only time Taka Michinoku will ever main event Raw. Uh, also, oh, Milk Truck was Michinoku. a good ending. Okay. Well, where we're at it. Pro wrestling, where real wrestlers actually go. <laughs> LB. Okay, I'll take that back. Rob Conway's there. LB, <laughs> tell me about some t-shirts. T-shirts? Jesus Christ, Sorg. Fucking t-shirts. <laughs> fucking, fucking t-shirts. All right, I'll tell you about t-shirts. Son, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. That's what you need to know about t-shirts. Fucking ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. The greatest t-shirts in yes. all the world. Fuck those goddamn billboards with fucking uh, uh, American Eagle. They can suck a cock on Broadway for all I care. <laughs> they aren't even wearing shirts in those. But if they were, they would be wearing the property of WMS <laughs> shirts available at ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. We have a rare opportunity, Sorg. Yeah. We talk about this shit every mother fucking week but this week we have the designer of the t-shirt here right on here the show. on Alexander the show cars is mother Thank you, Alex. With us. I love my he's team. in the hangout with us i can see him he's wearing glasses okay. and he's waving cars listen it's time for your fucking fucking moment of fame son <laughs> it's time for your interview tell people your name open your mouth <laughs> Stop laughing. I'm interviewing, I'm interviewing you. Use your words. This is your big moment. You're going to get signed to an agency after this. Use your What's words. What's your name? Alex. His name is Alexander Cars. Hi, That's right. Alex. Do you have a website, Alex? Yes, I do. I have a few. That's awesome. Where um, can people see your work? <laughs> okay. Um, one of the places you can see my work is at my main website, alexandercars.com. That's K-A-H-R-S. Alexandercars.com. You can also check out a lot of the wrestling stuff I got going on at powertothesmarks.com. And is, yeah. Is that, is that writing? There's a bunch of different links. I've got a Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Designs. And I've got more uh, links from there to check out all my different work. I've got work with uh, WMS, obviously. I've also got worked with some other friends of mine at a, for a podcast called Barks for Excellence. Um, so, you know, you can just send me a message on Facebook or uh, send me a message on Twitter, uh, A Cars Designs on Twitter, and I can send you more links to check my stuff if you have a design in mind that you want for a shirt or website or whatever, just send me a message or an email. That is fantastic. I am very excited. Alexander Cars, what is your specialty? Is it like Photoshop? Is it in design? Do you code? I want to get you a job. You can. Um, I think my my main specialty Alex, is in yes. I, I don't think what? he means a job. I think he wants you. He wants to no, blow you. No. Riz, no, no, <laughs> god damn it. I want to help him. He's a graphic designer. He must have all the advantages I never had. Alex, what is your specialty? God damn it, before it's too late. I, I, special, I specialize in branding, so logo designs. He um, I also specialize in, in uh, print, so merch, uh, merchandise, and flyers, posters, all that good stuff. And I also do... Uh, web design. I also do a lot of stuff with WordPress. Did you mention DVD covers? DVD covers! Yes, DVD covers. <laughs> I've been doing DVD covers for RWA for almost a year now. Yep. And it's been I've really great. I've never <laughs> seen your cars will knock it out of the park on your fucking DVD cover. <laughs> Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com and find Alexander Cars. I don't remember his links. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's myself. amazing I've his work seen. is incredible he's a wonderful graphic are. designer fucking help him pay his student loans go 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 I'm begging you I'm almost in tears I've not never, because I'm drunk but because I'm because, passionate and in debt go to prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS Alexander Cars 
needs your help. I've never He's seen anyone. He's got student loans. Help him pay him off. ProWrestlingTeam.com slash We love Alexander Carter. You're on the wrestling team. Of all the DVD works that he does, this has been... Uh, Lunchbox, I've never, I've never seen anybody as so excited for DVD covers as you were there. <laughs> DVD cover! DVD cover! Is he doing Bobby in the Bobby. draft? Bobby, you don't yes. understand. I'll never make money being a graphic designer, but there's still hope for Alexander yep. Clark. His spirit is I'm Marty Fox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck. Go buy a t-shirt. Pro Wrestling T-shirt. Go buy a t-shirt. They're very WLS. wonderful. You are the property of Wrestling Mayhem Show. Tell a friend. I just got one the other day. There you Good go, man, Bobby. There you go. Thank you. All right. Can we look back, uh, LB? I don't know what your plan is for next. Do you have a plan for what's next? I do. I. That's why I put it in the thing. We're oh, going to talk about <laughs> 2013. And DVD covers. Olé! Olé! This is when we did the same thing last year. You guys are the best. I'm almost, I'm almost out of wine. Listen. <laughs> predictions. Predictions. Last year we made predictions and we have to talk about them. It's incredible. We're going to go on down the list and then we're going to make new ones. Is everybody ready? Good. All right. So I made a prediction that something serious happened to Vince's health and I think it did, but they didn't cover it. That's why... That old cocksucker hasn't been on television. Oh, no. He had a hip surgery. Yeah, he did. He had hip surgery. Boom. One point lunchbox. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to write this down. Boom Lunch, shakalaka. Because he's technically been on his mind. Are you drunk? LB. Lunchbox, are you point. drunk right now? <laughs> Nobody can tell. All right. Um, <laughs> next up, I made the prediction that Cena, John Cena would have two championship runs and Triple H would have one more. I did that happen? I don't know. Uh, the the oh, Cena John one, Cena yeah. Yeah, Cena did. Um, yeah, Cena that did. Came true. Nailed, it. Also, Nailed it. Nailed it. Two points. Nailed half. <laughs> Suck <laughs> the dick. Next up is Riz. If the theory about the TLC match of Triple H winning the championship comes true, you would have gotten that done perfectly. That so, would man. be incredible. That would be fucking grand slam. All right, Riz. I'm sorry, buddy, but you didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Riz said, "Grant, great, great, great Colin will win much. and retire as champion." I would love to see it. I would too. And I, I take it, I, I take it to my grave that it should have happened this year. He almost. Oh, won I would, I would love to see it only oh. if it means Kali retires. <laughs> he almost won a championship. If by championship you mean Natalia, <laughs> he didn't even win that. <laughs> yeah, he didn't win that either. Lost it at the last minute. <sighs> them, them feels, Cully. Them feels. <laughs> nice. Um, J- Jim Shireman, fucking the boss himself, made a number of uh, of predictions. Uh, let's see what happened. Yeah, WWE elevates or brings a star over from TNA to top the help end. Maybe Jeff Hardy. That nope. didn't happen. Nope. Xavier Woods? Huh? Was he in was Xavier Woods in TNA? Yeah. 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 Consequences no three. Okay. One oh wow, that is him. Shit balls. Counts. Okay. One point for Shireman. Unify the world titles. Ooh. Wow. Oh, yeah, he fucking he's called. almost there. <laughs> he <laughs> might be wrong. Under the water. Iron Man is a genius. Oh, Under, oh, oh, so oh no. Happened. What Alex happened? Snow. Who did we lose? Alex. Alex. Take, take Alex Austin. out of your list. He has Austin. been eliminated. Oh, he's back. Put him back on. He's he's back. Back. All right. Undertaker Play. retires. Undertaker just started his entrance nope. to Mania. Uh, <laughs> Actually, 50-50. Undertaker did start his entrance to Mania when Shireman said that. So that's accurate. Uh, Punk and streak Jill's off attitude with rock and triple H defeats. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to give him a point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what that means. Punk didn't end the streak though. 
Doesn't it's matter. True, but Shireman. Jill's off attitude. I think he meant. You don't Jill's question off. Jim Shireman. I'm gonna give him that. I'm gonna give him that. Attitude era. Shireman does what he wants. He's in the lead. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Wrestle fan. Yes. You should have predicted that you will change your name. <laughs> yeah, uh, you predicted you will talk about indie wrestling and everyone will hate you. Fifty percent <laughs> no, talked no, about no, indie no, wrestling. No. I love you like my annoying son. I appreciate that, this is I love you like the neighbor that I hit with derf, with nerf guns down the road. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Holy Aww. fuck! Wow. Oh, jeez! What? What? Um, but, but it's all right. You had others. Brock Lesnar wins a championship. That didn't happen. Wrong. Oh. Add another main show. Now that's up Total for debate. Total Divas is here. <laughs> oh, actually, you, you know that. what? I'll count Total Divas. Did main, will too. The main event start last year. Total Divas. I'm counting I'm Total Divas. Last year. When, Divas when did main event start? Last year. It was last yeah, year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll give that one to him. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Uh, Mad Mike. Yes. Just a couple. Just a couple of predictions. You said that Billy Ray, bully, I think it meant was a yes. TNA champ. Did that? That happened, didn't it? That, that happened. Yes. yes. Nailed it. Uh, number two, Kings of Wrestling will wrestle each other on TV. I don't believe we were Wrong. fortunate enough to see that. Sadly, it did not. Define television. <laughs> did they wrestle on NXT? No, if they, they wrestle on NXT, mm-hmm. that counts. No, they didn't. Did they? Did they? Did they? It doesn't count. Did they wrestle on NXT? See, you see, NXT isn't real television. I told you, Eamon. Well, no, I'm no. not saying that. Hulu. <laughs> 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 I'm saying if you paid attention, you'd be like... Hulu is not television. I'm sorry. (laughs) It is for me. Well, Well, you are drunk, so your opinion is void. You're drunk. Oh, shit. If you can see it on the TV, it's TV. Yeah, it's TV. Oh, Oh, AJ's here, too. Oh, shit, AJ's here. AJ! (laughs) Oh, it's in our hangout. Yeah! Yeah. 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 people... (laughs) Okay. AJ. AJ. Just what we need. Clear the room. Let him in. Now we have to ask AJ all the questions we've asked tonight. Okay, AJ. Yes, no, all of them. You gotta get out of the way. No, Mickey, AJ. Ah. AJ. Mickey Guerrero is a milk. You have to answer all the questions in one sentence. Okay, We're starting okay. from the top. Vicky Mickey Guerrero, Guerrero, what do you Schwartz think? Hot or not? Day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. How, about, how about one people person to ask the questions? One person. God damn it. All right, Vicky Guerrero shorts, Vicky yes or Guerrero. no? AJ Styles and TNA, yes or no? And um, no, you can't all them ask them all at once. No, no. Yes, I Vicky can. Guerrero, Vince go. Vicky is in Vicky charge. Oh God. Vicky Guerrero. <laughs> all right. AJ, yes Vicky, or no? Vicky Guerrero, is Vicky Guerrero in shorts. Is that the question here? Is she? Yes. yes. But is she allowed to do it? Should she be allowed to wear shorts? Yes. yes. Should the Surgeon General approve it before they are allowed to show it? <laughs> Listen, Vicky Guerrero's a grown ass woman. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. Exactly. To yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Consensus. <laughs> Solomon Crow is a hacker. Is that good or bad? <laughs> I don't know how we're doing the, all the questions. Who is a hacker? Solomon Crow. You don't Sa- know who Sammy it is. Sammy Callahan. Good answer. Is it good? <laughs> On NXT. Uh, hacker wrestler. I don't understand how that works. The answer's no. <laughs> Good question. Good answer. Uh, AJ Styles is done with TNA. What does that mean for everything? Better episodes of Cops. Ah, that's what I said. <laughs> One sentence. <laughs> knocked it out of the park. All right. What did Matt Carlins ask? Olive is the voicemail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. AJ. At the end of the TLC pay-per-view, will there be one unified champion? Yes or no? I think there will be one unified crowd going, what the fuck was that? (laughs) (laughs) Fantastic. AJ, turn your head to the right. Look wistful. (laughs) And remember remember when... <laughs> Remember when a good ending of Raw? Go. Uh, the Ric Flair retirement Raw. 
Nice. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yes. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, damn it. Show yes, me sir. potato salad. <laughs> oh, sorry. Christ. All right. Mm-hmm. That was all the questions, guys. AJ just summed up the entire show in five minutes. AJ's yeah, a fucking. Really. You just put out what AJ said at the end. That's AJ's the boss. That's our show. Right, back to so predictions. You got to clip this and make it its own special segment. AJ sums the show. <laughs> all right. Sums the show. All right. Uh, where do we leave off? Zero Two K, who's not here. Tuesday show on WWE. When does nope. NXT air? It doesn't. NXT what is right? NXT? Okay. And this year is late Wednesday. Uh, so Jerry Lawler Wednesday. will die on the show. Uh, mm, that didn't happen. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. Yes. Yes. Technically, yes. He, he technically died for a no, little he, bit. No, he died two years ago. That's true. No, but he could die. There are still shows. <laughs> I, I, uh, I did appreciate the uh, dying like literally died. Because if that's the case, he dies at the show. Bobby, uh, Bobby, what? Wait, what was the question what? again? It's time for your prediction. Oh, okay. Pretty you sure. I was Pretty terrible. Wayne Barrett will win a title. <laughs> no, he didn't no. did win a title of Bad News Bears. He won the. They IC gave him title. a title. He did have the IC title. Yeah, he had the IC title. I mean, oh, Bobby title, nailed though. it, Bobby. No, Dallas. don't give me uh, one for that. I'm gonna give you for that. Fucking, it counts. <laughs> Greatest Punk versus ever. Stone Cold at Mania. That did not happen. No, that didn't happen, no. sadly. It's okay. Oh, can I, can uh, I rehab we, something real quick? That? Ooh, go ahead. So when I said better episodes of Cops, I just then pictured in my head like AJ Styles running away from the cops then stopping and trying to do that like bullshit backflip kick. And the cops <laughs> just go, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, run. Run, AJ, I don't know, run. I'm laugh. <laughs> Pele, Pele. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hot Wheels. Yes. You, you did pretty good. You said the new WWE title will look better than Hardy's. Yeah. And you're fucking right. That fucking correct, sir. Good job, Woo-hoo. sir. And you also said Hardy will be back. Now, what do you think that meant? Ah, see, I didn't say where he'd be back at. Yeah. He meant RWA. I think he meant. Oh no, Matt. never. I think he just meant Matt. <laughs> we got G Raver for that. <laughs> well, then. Um, uh, Sorg. Oh, that's a shoot. Hi. <laughs> or, uh, you said there's going to be a. Oh my squad God! Who did that? Will did that? Will LB? What the hell are you putting on the internet? <laughs> what? what is happening? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember account. why I made it's on that. The mayhem page. Hold on, I'll, I'll show that later. Junk. I'll show that later on the show. Um, uh, what did I say? Sorry, you said there would be a spirit squad reunion. Man, I wish I was oh, right. Come on, there was on the. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> there was on the. Hey, he like is Rondo right. There was one. Well, uh, it doesn't count. Fuck you! You don't own the internet. I own. It. I'm a Slammy Award winner. Oh man, we're never gonna hear the end of that. Anyway, nope. puppet, puppet, uh, fucking said Wrestle Fan learns to tie shoes. So, uh, <laughs> Wrestle Fan. Wrestle Fan has oh, shoes. Away. Oh, that puppet! Oh my God, I thought it was the midget. <laughs> <laughs> Puppet yeah. FJ Town. Yeah. The, the puppet that called Sorg an puppet asshole F. J. still was on the show. That's a we do some weird shit. Fucking, all right. Uh, By the way. Fan, how's your shoes? Did you learn to tie your shoes? Yeah, oh, look at that. <laughs> He's double. I'm so sorry. He's already tied. He's just slipping him Nailed more. it. The winner David is Puppet Winnie FJ Town through. for achieving sentience. Did someone tie those for you? Yup, it's all me. Okay, all right. All right, guys. This has been super good, and now it's time for predictions for 2014. All right? We're going to be orderly about this. (laughs) We are. We're going to start with Riz Defer. Riz, I must know. 
What are your predictions for 2014? All right, here we go. I'm cheating because I was first on the list. I just, I just wrote them down in the order that I heard people talk. Don't don't skip the order. Okay, all right. I'll go first. All right. So, yeah, predictions for 2014. Um, uh, uh, some fucking – all right. Vince, I failed last year with Vince's health, <laughs> sort of. Vince will actually leave the company. 2014 is the year that Vince goes away. Vince goes away. Away, and uh, just because I want to get one right, Camacho will take over <laughs> for Sin Cara. Well, actually, no. actually, that would be that would be a great pick if it was Hunico. Fuck! I can't keep them straight. It's Hunico. Damon, I don't care. I don't care. Camacho. I still vote Camacho. Riz, please tell me. Uh, what are your <laughs> predictions for 2014? All right. So my first one, I kind of mentioned it on the actual Facebook post. Uh, AJ Styles will come back to TNA, but he will not be world heavyweight champion when he comes back. That's one. Two. The Hornswoggle movie will oh, be the, the best seen WWE film movie in history. Best? I have to say, it looked pretty good. <laughs> and three, <laughs> Mr. Anderson will win a TNA cha- championship. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. Yes. Eat it. Suck what? it. Oh, oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Actually, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not thinking that, that would make me happy. <laughs> but, you know. We Dustin. can't do it. Full predictions. Dolph Both. Ziggler, this time next year, will be in the same position as Zack Ryder. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, that's hard. Not on TV. He will continue to fall. He took, I, Cena had to give him credit for people to remember that he was a world champion. TNA will still be around. And that's a very bold prediction because everybody on the internet seems to think that it's going away. Have you seen their comments? <laughs> I try to avoid them because it makes me sad. Good. <laughs> uh, and number three, EC3 will hold championship gold in TNA. My one call is the TNA television championship. The one that Abyss still holds. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Alexander Cars. All right. I'm going to play it safe. Yeah. I predict that your car is going to return and it's going to have a weekly television series <laughs> from Cartoon Network. And I'm going to buy a petting zoo. <laughs> That's your play? <laughs> petting zoos? That's my, prediction is that my, my prediction is that Chikara is, is going to return. That's it. That's good. That's safe. Disregard the zoo stuff. I don't know. Anything. Oh, no. The, good, the zoo stuff works. It's perfect. <laughs> Hot wheels! Ah. Uh, I'm glad. I was sitting there thinking, all right, I'm going to go for this one. I say 2014, we finally see Sting in WWE. Shut your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) And I I also say that's, let's see. Stephanie squirts out another baby. (laughs) Only if it's On mine. Air. Only if it's mine. And as long as it's not a hand. Um, I say John Cena breaks Ric Flair's record in 2014. What is he looking at? <laughs> there. 
Those are my two predictions for 2014. Wait, what was the second one? I didn't type it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I said John Cena will break Ric Flair's record in 2014. Wow. Yeah. I can see it. That's three title reigns. Bobby. You can do it. Three title reigns. Bobby, okay. I must know. What do you see in the future? Okay. Two WWE returns. MVP. And mm-hmm. Tajiri. I want to see Tajiri in WWE so oh, bad. Even Tajiri if it's just like a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to see Tajiri and Cesaro have a match. Yeah. I'm on board. Fuck yes. Um, another thing, Roman Reigns is going to have a breakout year. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No doubt. And <laughs> yes. this one might be a little – I think he's ready. Damian Sandow will win the world title next year. Ooh. Wow. Oh, stepping out oh. on a limb like I did with Wade Barrett. Don't let me down. I'm sorry. And just say Sorg. <laughs> Please tell me. Please. Yes. Tell me what do you what do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, uh, probably this is probably the safer bet, but I think Daniel Bryan will definitely have a run with the whatever title we end up with here at the end of the year. Um, and if for real, at least a month run with it, uh, not you know, this BS that we had this last time. Um, I also predict that Claudio Antonio Cesaro, I don't expect him to win a title, but I expect him to be in a win, a main event match for a Good title idea. for the main, for the major title, I guess. Um, I think he'll. Yeah, I think he's going to get to that point. Um, again, I don't expect him to win it. I think I think it'd be a while. You know, uh, maybe he'll be a Money in Bank winner. Uh, throw that in there too, uh, as a as a uh, title match or Money in the Bank. Uh, one of, something very very fortunate is going to happen to this uh, foreign fellow. Mm. I love it. You know, it's funny. Story, Mike. Man. I had mine, and it was the first one you said. And then as you were saying it, I thought of the second one. And it was the one you just said. <laughs> 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 That's fun. Take that, wrestle Matt, fan. Matt Mike, Ooh. what does New York think is going to happen in 2014? Okay. I think at some point, Antonio Cesaro will giant swing the big show. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'd like to see that. They're kind of um, I think EC3 will be TNA champion by Bound for Glory. Oh, my. Really? Yep. Shut up. Not that you, Mike. But, well, that doesn't help my argument at all. <laughs> You're both, hey. What, whatever. I don't know. What else? I don't know. And the last Damon, prediction. are you drunk? The last prediction, a friend of the show will make his WWE TV debut. Chachi? That's where he's been. Chachi's the 30th man in the Rumble. I love it. That would be so weird because he's so skinny. (laughs) (laughs) You forgot one. Matt Matt Carlins. All right, here we go. I predict um, Seamus will return at the Royal Rumble. Good thing. And then, um, all right, here's my off the wall. Here's six wrestlers who are currently doing next to nothing. Wade Barrett, Darren Young, Heath Slater, Justin Gabriel, <laughs> David Otunga. I know where you're going. Sheffield. Goddamn motherfucking Nexus reunion, baby. Olé. 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 Fantastic. Uh, Eamon, please, God, tell me what you think will happen in 2004, you little oracle. 2004? <laughs> <laughs> how come he, he gets to go back, back in time? And we had to I predict what was going to happen. Eamon, we went back in time last week. Wikipedia, oh. tell me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I predict TV Richards will win the world Look on YouTube, man. <laughs> 
Hey, you, know, like you know what's up. Tell me. Tell me, you little shit. <laughs> okay. In 2014, um, Taker's WrestleMania match will be against at least one member of the Shield. Okay. Um, I'll throw in an indie prediction. Um, based off of the top prospect tournament that's happening, Ray Rowe will get a contract with the Ring of Honor. He should already have one. He should already have one. Um, there's got to be a third one. At least five people from NXT will get called up, and they will all stay on the main roster when they get called up. I didn't hear the they first know. part. What? And they'll all stay on the main roster when they Who? get called oh, up. the first part. The first part. Oh, five first people from part. NXT. Five stars from NXT will get called up to the main roster. <laughs> And they'll stay on One the main roster until the end of the year. That is very, very Ole. Ole. What five stars? Three ain't enough for Sammy Sammy Zane. Zane. Ole. Ole. I love it. Bo fucking diggity. Fuck. I've, I've spoken with the Oracle. In here. An Oracle, what do you say? Is that what? magic ape? Oh. Oh, Okay. Sin Cara wins the title. <laughs> no. Now that he's somebody else. Okay. Okay. A cage match will happen on Raw. <laughs> that, seems ridiculous. that was a bold prediction. <laughs> one more, son. <laughs> there's two more. He's he's told me there's two more. The one is the one is two. We will have two guest hosts on Raw. At the same time? I'm, I'm not saying that. Okay. <laughs> Say it. TNA will have one show we enjoy thoroughly. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> oh, Bless. Oh, hold on, hold on. What, what's this? What's this? Ooh, cinnamon covered almonds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Oracle. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, Dutters, <laughs> Dutters. Oh my God, Dutters. Hello. All right. I need you to tell me what will happen in 2014. I am unsure. In the future, uh, we will see the end of the three man ambush and the rebirth of tag team wrestling. Legitimate tag team wrestling, legitimate tag team matches. That's my first. Uh, the Shield will break up. No, no, I just want their shirt. No. You hold. They will <laughs> never break up. <laughs> They're back. They'll never. break up to a Taylor Swift song, and <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift will be the reason they break up. Sung Boys. by Dean Ambrose. <laughs> okay, I guess it would be number two. We're gonna see. Uh, this is a good one for you. We're gonna see uh, Biggie Langston and Mark Henry strongman competition. Nice. Oh my okay. god, Ooh, I like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, and then Many this is not buys. as much a prediction as a wish for me is my buddy comes back for the Royal Rumble. I get to see Stone Cold in the Royal Rumble. And you mm. know who'll be sponsored by? DDP Yoga. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. <laughs> Stone Cold. That's, Cold. So that's more of a wish than a prediction. Stone Cold. <laughs> that bear's going to be in the Rumble. Oh my gosh. That is exquisite. Is Jess in the chat? Because we need a prediction for her. No, she's not not in the chat anymore. She's having a computer problem. She'll give it later. I'll I'll make Jess's prediction. JoJo has more than 10 minutes of screen time on Total (laughs) Deep. Where's that voice? At one time. JoJo more than <laughs> 10 minutes on toast. I can't wait to see these next oh, right, right. I, I, I forgot a prediction. I forgot a prediction. Eva Marie wins the Divas title. Oh, oh, shut oh, your mouth. No, 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 no. 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 I'm on board. Eva Marie, I voted for that bitch for Slammies. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> you were probably hammered by then. When she, learns, oh, when she learns to put her singlet on correctly, she will win the Divas title. <laughs> Backwards. That's, That's so wonderful. Awkward. All right, guys. I, I, this has just been wonderful. This has been such a good mayhem show. You've all done so well. Thank you. If I could, if I could tattoo your faces on my back, I would do it in a do grin. it. Um, 
Do we get to pick the face? Good, it is. <laughs> Nobody tell anyone about my Riz tattoo. <laughs> Yes, uh, you don't want to know the where secret that is. Internet. We've had a wonderful time. It's been glorious, and we're going to remember this throughout the Christmas season. Yeah. Wait, we're doing a remember so, when again? Shut the gonna... fuck up. <laughs> Time for the boss battle. I'm not going to remember any of this. We're gonna, I'm not going to remember any of this. This Probably bottle the is best. empty. Forget it all. Okay? It's, it's a Christmas you know what that miracle. Means? Start the other bottle. It's... <laughs> No, it's time for remember when. That's what this meant. No, <laughs> no, 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 not remember when. It's <laughs> Amen. No, it's I, time I think, for. Uh, any minute. It's the, the end of the show. Like it's the end of the show. Play. Instead of Play. asking what you learned, because we all know what we learned, we have four hundred episodes of what we learned, give or take. It's where the question is: What do you want? Stone Cold Santa to bring you for Christmas. Mm. I've got a list, and we're going to start. We're going to go down the list, and I want. It's I'm I'm here because I'm me. I wrote it. What I want for Christmas. What I want for Christmas. It's really simple. I want Wade Barrett to have a good gimmick. <laughs> I want I want Wade Barrett to be violent and British in that way that I know he can be, or to come out with a bow tie and be the doctor. That's what I want. <laughs> I want Royal Rumble tickets, and by God, I've got them. You've Thank got, you, you already got them. Santa. I'm going to the Royal Rumble. Lunchbox is the thirtieth man. <laughs> Imagine Barrett going I, like this. Riz, I'm gonna fuck your bloody face in and make it all tiny warmy. <laughs> First, I want a pony and uh, let's see, a, a new car. Uh, and well, I this is I'm I'm gonna be a, a stickler here. Um, I want Gold Dust and Cody Rhodes to split up. <gasps> but they're brothers. Oh. I don't care. They're not. I. I don't. They're too far of extreme of the extreme to to get. And they're cool. They won the tag titles. I was so happy when they won. Yay! And then they started defending them, and I started getting stale and old. What? So I want Stone oh, Santa man. Claus to please split them up. Breaking beer. Uh, There's nothing like good okay, wrestling. It's okay, no judging. Riz, you fucking took mine. <laughs> good. <laughs> well, Mad Take Mike, you gotta come slammy. up with another one because it's what? your turn, what? Mad Mike. What do you want from you? Stone Cold Santa Claus? Look me deep in the eye. <laughs> look me in the eye. Look me deep in the Riz, eye. Hey, Riz, look at you. Honestly, what the hell is wrong with you? What do you want to put up? Nothing is wrong with me. <laughs> I you don't like Cody water. Rhodes and Gold Dust because you never like Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust just because I don't like Mr. Anderson because I don't like Mr. Anderson, friends. <laughs> you know Mr. Hope, Anderson is a nice hope. person. Mr. He's my Anderson friend. is a saint. He, he, he yelled in my birthday, friend's bathroom with a sub and flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> well, that is <laughs> Bobby. I'm drunk, and that's gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. Hey, lunchbox. Riz. That, that, that's, that was gibberish to me too. Ask AJ. Ask AJ. It happened. No, I have to know what, what, what Matt Mike wants for Christmas from Stone Cold Claws. <sighs> okay. Um, well, I will elaborate on Riz's thing, and then I will give another one. Um, I want Gold Dust. To cost them the tag titles, much in the same way that Owen cost he and Brett the tag titles, and I want Cody versus Goldust at Mania with Dusty Rhodes as the referee. Ooh, I like and that. If you will, if you will, if you will, if you will. If you will. And, so, and the other thing I want for Christmas from Stone Cold Santa is for a way for Joseph Park and Abyss to exist at the same time. <laughs> that will happen. And also That's when Mystico comes out in the uh, best mask. 
this is all gibberish to me. Oh, no. TJ Perkins. Mm-hmm. I love it. TJ Perkins dressed as Austin Aries, dressed as Curry Man, dressed as Suicide, dressed as Manic. <laughs> yes! I'm on board I'll accept this. that. Dressed as Shark Boy. Perkins is a pretty good restroom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bobby, Amen. no. <laughs> Amen. Amen, bring it around for us. What do yes. you want Stone Cold Claws to bring to you? Besides Stone Cold Claws. I want something very simple, very easy. I'm not going to ask for much. Porn. I just, I just want you to give me the magical powers that will allow for the voice of Gorilla Monsoon to be inserted into my body. <laughs> that way, I don't sound like an idiot during Inspire Pro shows. You know what? Will you stop? Will you stop? Will you stop? It can happen, okay? It can happen. Oh There's magic God. out will there. You be I know serious? it. I know it. Okay? Is he gonna let that voice die? Is he gonna let it die? Is it away? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather see Eamon as Lord Alfred Hayes. <laughs> that too. When, well, when Jammer. Emotional consideration, painful, but following. It sound about right. You need to cultivate your British accent, you little fuck. Eamon <laughs> <laughs> is a wind jammer. Wouldn't it be great Hot if you, if you did, like, you flipped in the character and you did have a British accent when you, uh, when you did your thing? I would be fired. Would you? No. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Jesus. Hot Wheels. No, he lost his yes. mind. He can't come Lead the way. <laughs> Is Hot Wheels right. still with us? Yes, I am. What do, you, what do you want for Christmas from Stone Cold <laughs> Santa Claus? I would like a lot of what? No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I uh, would like, I would like Brothers Clay to come out to his new music, Wrecking Ball. By Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and he comes out on a long chain and just smacks his opponents over and pins them. No, no, no. All, all seriousness. No, 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 no. I couldn't do that to poor Brodus Clay. He's already had a crappy gimmick. Oh, God, no. Bobby, no. Bobby, yes. <laughs> but, uh, Bobby, no. seriously, what would I want for Christmas from Stone Cold Santa Claus? I would like for Eamon to grow up to be a strong, strong man. Harry. <laughs> no, he's already Harry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want him to have the voice of an angel. <laughs> Good shit. Is that it? That is it. No. What? No, oh, I go. know. No, I'm asking is that it for wheel? Oh, oh, Bobby, yeah. Oh, Please skip me again, some <laughs> bitch. Bobby, I love Whoa. you. Whoa. Bobby, Don't call I'm going to kiss either. you full on the mouth when I see you. <laughs> Why won't you tell me what you want from... I want two Oscar things. Claus. I want two things. I want Antonio Cesaro to be pushed to the moon. And I want a Divas title... Win for Oksana, and then me and her will go to a ski resort, a fancy <laughs> ski resort, and I will watch her knit a sweater. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that what you think Los Angeles do? <laughs> <laughs> I, do I am a gentleman, Sorg. <laughs> 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 points, points. Bobby gets no, points. You have the Bobby gets man so many You points. have the weirdest fantasies I've ever heard of, and I have the no, internet. No, his fantasies are the best forever. <laughs> Holy fuck! Matt Happy Carlin's life. day. Matt Carlin's our friend in the mainstream media. On Christmas Eve, you're going to be tracking Santa's every move on fucking Damn Norad. Right. What do you want from Stone Cold Santa? I want one entrance in the next Royal Rumble to be announced as being from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I will settle for Devin Devinson as long as he's from <laughs> Pittsburgh in the Royal Rumble. That'd be awesome. Nice. Oh, Logan Shulo. Is that it? Dutters? Hello. You forgot me. No, is that it for Matt Carlin? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's so many other things I want, though. I can't, I can't say them all. <laughs> All right, good. Alex, Alex Cars, what do you want for yes. fucking Christmas? <laughs> I would like 
I would like to be able to go to more wrestling shows in the coming year. And, and the only way I can do that is coffee. money. <laughs> I need money. So buy t-shirts. <laughs> go go, so go to prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS. Slash WMS. Go fucking buy it. Rewind and listen to the interview. He's wonderful. <laughs> Help pay for my indie wrestling fix. Thank you. <laughs> Dustin. What do I want for Christmas? I want TV to actually get a talent scout that knows how to recruit new talent that is under the age of 36. And I also want to hear a woo from AJ. Uh, I think I can give that to you right now. Hold on. Stone Cold Cloth? Woo! There it is. And Andy's awake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christmas miracles come shit. true on the wrestling yeah. man. I, I make Christmas happen. That's right. Dutters. Oh. Sodders. Sodders. What do you want from that bald oh. son of a bitch stone cold <laughs> Santa Claus? I want Ryback to reinvent himself as a diva. <laughs> and that's <laughs> why Becky, he makes Eamon a man. <laughs> The first actual diva wow. in uh, WWE. Mm-hmm. So yep, China. real diva. Yep, I think he could do it. I think he'd look real pretty. Harry Saturn wore dresses. No, Vito. Vito wore Vito. dresses. Well, I think both of them. Vito still yeah. wore dresses. Harry Saturn, good I remember when he was talking crazy. Well, folks, we've got one left. We've got the person with which there would be no mayhem. Me. <laughs> Man who makes it work. Sorg. If anybody here deserves to get what they want from Stone Cold Santa Claus, it's you. Me. You work harder than any of us. We're goddamn leeches. Me. Me. Tell me, Sorg. Me. Tell me and make it so. <laughs> what do you want? From Stone Cold Santa. I think I want to hear what AJ wants from Stone Cold Santa. Fuck, I didn't you know add a list. Wants, you know what I want from AJ, Stone Cold you Santa Claus? Sucker. What do you I want, want from Stone Cold Santa? I want El Torito and Rey Mysterio. Son of a Rey. bitch. <laughs> 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 Bye. There you go. There you go. There you go. He left it. He left it. Um, I want I want anybody else to, own, to, to own TNA. Uh, I, I would do it. Sorg, are you saying <laughs> if I had the money? Mayhem Show buys TNA in 2004. Buy the t shirt so we can buy TNA. New campaign. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, knowing what I had to do to get a theater. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Olay! 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 First, we get Folks. the theater, then we get the Olay. TNA. Other Christmas present would be yeah, first the theater, then TNA. <laughs> then they the got money. worldwide then TV and rights. The world. And the world. In the world. We go. Here's what I go. Here's what we do. We're gonna get TNA. Okay. So so and we're gonna we're gonna set up. We're we're gonna put Eamon on commentary, but only if he does the British accent. <laughs> um, he's gonna, no, 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 no. No. We're gonna put Eamon on commentary, oh, and he's gonna do two wrestling. two things. We're gonna yeah at the same time. Okay. Oh, two man, two different guys. Well, I was going to say. Eamon does both. Forces. I was going to say, because we got, we got that, and then I was going to put, um, I was going to put Bo Diggity on color. Uh, that LB, makes sense. LB was going to be the commissioner. Uh, 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 um, uh, Wheels is going to be a sound guy, because he does a good job at RWA. Um, and I'm still figuring out jobs for the rest of you. Oh, TV <laughs> truck is going to be Matt Carlin's. Yes. Simple. Simple. He's got uh, experience. He has experience. Alex is going to be on the t-shirts. Um, yeah. um, Rizzle be diva champ. Oh, Rizzle be diva champ. What? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm working out the rest of it. Champ. I, do, the- I do look better than most of the knockouts on TNA. Oh, could I be ringside announcer? You probably have a higher paying job than most of the knockouts on TNA. Amen is the Spanish announced team. Nobody. Uh, Amen is the Spanish announced team. Nobody. And the announced team. team. Could I be the ringside announcer? Wait, the, I already booked two of them for you. 
No, no, the, 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 the ring announcer. Oh, you want to be the Jeremy Borash? No, I want to be Justin Roberts. Some no, he wants to be Christy. You want to be Christy Hemi? You want to be Christy Hemi? I'll be I'll be Christy Hemi. You want her wardrobe? Wear wear okay. dresses that show off your legs and how to, skinny you are. You to, you I'm not skinny. Christy Hemi. I have to dye my hair red. Bob and have to have like a man. weird a weird ginger tattoo oh, on your uh, forearm that looks like it's supposed to be fire, but looks like it's AIDS. Oh, that can be arranged. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm an actor. You know, Eric, this is Eric, he does the photography. Nice. Mad Mike, Mad Mike's the new Don West. Yes, I'm literally the only person that ever puts over DNA. <laughs> Sold, Sorgal scene. And Dustin oh, gets, front, gets the front. Department. Dustin gets the front row, middle ticket. Every uh, t- okay, uh, uh, Dustin. Can't give me rookie cards. Dustin's gonna be the the crowd wrangler, like I see at RWA or not RWA, uh, Ring of Honor uh, that always riles everybody up. Thudders, what do you want? Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Just wear just wear a Dutters shirt. Is obviously okay, boys, the, it's been fun. Thank you very much for my first experience really with the Mayhem Whoa. Nation. Uh, Whoa. Congratulations, you're almost at 400. Y'all have a good time. I gotta go. Thanks a lot, Matt. Dustin, Mike, what are you saying? Bye, Dustin. Bye. Thanks for the emails. You're welcome. Merry well, Christmas. <laughs> Sorry about sh- shitting on TNA. <laughs> He's like, oh, awesome. Um, yeah, oh, Dutters, you can Christmas fight Bobby for those dresses. Time. Okay. All right. What if he's too busy with the draft? What if he confuses me with the draft? This is so sad. Well, no, Dutters Dutter, is our social media publicist. Yes, I'm in. I think Dutters is clearly the chief brand officer, right? Isn't that like the role for the woman in the company? <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Wow! Whoa! Wow. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> wow! Oh. Matt Carlin's, you're oh. on. You deal in real television, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you should we watch what you say in public. <laughs> we wish Matt Carlin's the best of luck in his future endeavors. <laughs> <laughs> the views and opinions. I, don't need I haven't luck. got to say this. <laughs> I haven't got to say this since Steam Machine. The views and opinions of Matt Carlin's do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Or any We're area. sorry, Swedish girl. Well, I can't embarrass my employer, so I gotta embarrass you, right? That's what's that noise. Are you drunk? Bobby. <laughs> yes. The only way Matt, hey, the only way Matt make up for this. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> it's Tobias from Range Rover. That's the only way that comes. Oh, Range Rover! Range Rover! Range Rover. <laughs> Folks, this has been amazing. You have given us yet another absolutely <clears throat> wonderful year. Incredible. Listeners, Maggle. you are why we Maggle. come back each and every week. Why Maggle, we come Maggle, back Maggle. every Tuesday for four hundred mother fucking episodes counting next week 399 episodes that's more than your heart has beat you little fucks this has Wait, been what? incredible shut up riz <laughs> fuck your statistics that doesn't Jesus. make any sense what did i just say huh what did i say i'm gonna take what you in the river you and drown you i'm gonna drown you in the river I'm going to resuscitate you, you with my mouth. Are you drunk I'm trying, right now? Fuck, I'm tr- yes, I'm trying to wrap up the show, Riz. <laughs> All right, gang. It's been amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. As always, you can check us out live every Tuesday night at live.sorgatronmedia.com round about 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is the only time that matters. Follow us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. God damn it, we're all over the internet because there's so many of us. Facebook, Google+, YouTube, Blip TV, Roku, Stitcher. Email us at goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com Good call. Two oh six WMS zero. That's nine six seven zero. If your phone doesn't have letters, and really, whose does nowadays? 
Uh, Call us uh, if you can. Your rotary phones and please get as drunk app. as I am now and call us by the app a dollar ninety nine because we need to buy Christmas presents for our loved ones. <laughs> buy we need to buy TNA. We want to buy TNA. WMS owns we TNA. Buy that, we should have it's, enough for TNA. <laughs> <laughs> it's been wonderful. Merry Christmas. You fucking Happy piece life of day. shit. Ole! 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 If you're Jewish like so many of us are, it's been amazing. Thank you. Thank you for Happy life day, Chewie. The long live 2014 WMS. Mayhem out! Just wait. Just wait.